Super George, and I'm so excited to be bringing you God's truth. Now, we are in the month of October, praise God. And the Lord has said, This is the month of remembrance. Remember the word I shared with you on the first God is remembering you this month, praise God. Now, that, that should give you reason to rejoice. Now, before we go into the day's broadcast, let's do the important thing the Lord said we should do. You remember. He said we should call in our daily bread. So are you ready? Join me now and declare this word. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, it's so important we have to do that because God commanded us. And hey, guess what? Over the weeks, and, and we've been doing this for a few months now, and there's been some... Even in our lives, there's been some increase in, in the level of supply that comes to us, praise God. You know, that's the beautiful thing about God. And, and, and don't make mistakes about it. Sometimes you may just sit down there and you're looking for some big miracle. Meanwhile, you don't recognize the steady flow of miracles that's taking place in your life. You're looking for something big. And then you don't recognize that the big things are already taking place, you know, and, and, and you just keep saying, oh God, when, oh God, when, until the Lord opens your eyes to see. Now, today I'm going to begin to share some important truths with us. Now, these are truths that the Lord have taught me and I've been practicing for years now and they've been working effortlessly, you know, for me and for me for my family for our ministry and i felt the spirit of god laying it in my heart that it's important i begin to share this truth with you and those are, that's what we're going to be looking at um this week and, and see how far the spirit of god will permit us to share these things can we just pray first father in the name of the lord jesus we honor you today even as we have called for our daily bread, we see the manifestation of your truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we go into your word, I declare every body is lifted, yokes are destroyed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command every distraction to leave you now. Everything that will distract you from listening and understanding the word of God is is separated from you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ amen praise god praise god now so i said i'm going to be sharing some truths and i've titled it walking in spiritual financial intelligence did you get that walking in spiritual financial intelligence now i could have said walking in financial intelligence you see but but some of just think oh he wants to tell us about no this is no motivational talk this is this is some deep spiritual talk that will affect your everyday living like i told you earlier these are these are wisdoms that the lord taught me and you know when we say the lord taught me and then see that's the thing that's what should be happening in your life. You should have sessions with the Lord. You should have teachings that the Lord teaches you stuff. If you cannot lay claim to the things that the Lord have taught you personally. Now, there are many teachers in the world, yes. But remember, there is no teacher that can teach you personally like the Holy Spirit. And that's what Jesus said he will do in our lives. So if you are a child of God, you should be asking yourself, what are the things the Holy Spirit has taught you as a person? Now, that's what the Bible meant when it says the just shall live by his own faith. 
The just man is going to live by the things the Holy Spirit have been teaching him. You remember last month we were talking about faith, you know, contending for the faith that was once delivered to us. And I, I explained what faith is, it's the substance. So when he says the just shall live by faith, he's saying the just shall live by his own substance. What do you mean his own substance? His own substance he has received from the Lord. So if he doesn't receive any substance from the Lord, he can walk by faith. See, he can walk by faith. I'm talking about faith in God. Now you, you can walk in by faith in other people. Oh, um, my pastor declared that this week will be a miracle. So um, I, I believe him and I'm walking in that. You're, you're walking, you're having faith in your pastor. It's as simple as that. Now, it's not so bad, but the challenge with that is it will come to an end eventually. You will get to a spot where it cannot help you cross the bridge. Now, there are bridges in life. It's only a personal encounter that will help you cross that bridge. There is no man of God. Nobody can even pray you to cross that bridge until you discover for yourself the truth because you've gotten to that point where only you can receive the word that will translate you or to transfer you to the other realm. See, that's just the truth. So even what I'm sharing with you, it's to open your heart. But the real truth is this. It's to drive you to the same place of fellowship that we walk in. So you can receive your own and start walking in it. So when you hear our story, when you hear what I'm about to share with you, it is for your learning. It is to open your understanding and say, whoa, you mean God can do this? Yes, he can do it. Praise God. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you on walking in spiritual, financial intelligence. Oh, should we remove the the financial just working in spiritual intelligence now why am i putting intelligence yes because your brain is needed in this one same way your spirit is needed in this one praise god you know sometimes people say you got born again look put your brain aside i've heard people say that you know if you want to follow god you've got to put your brain aside no no that's not true you can't put your brain aside when you're walking with God. God needs your brain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep. You know, sometimes we just we just feel we can say anything and it looks spiritual. You know, yeah. Whoa. You know, hey, <laughs> listen to me. God is looking for truth in the inward parts, not excitement. He is looking for truth in the inward parts. So where, where is the inward parts? Your mind, your heart. So God is looking. He can't be looking for truth in your spirit because your spirit is truth. Praise God. Yeah, your spirit is the spirit of truth. Your spirit is the Holy Spirit. It's as simple as that. But he is looking for truth inside your mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So Turn your Bibles with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And we are looking at verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. He says, now, we are looking at 12, verse 12 and 13. He said, now. We have received not the spirit of the world. So there is the spirit of the world. He said, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Okay. So we have received the spirit. It is not the spirit of the world. It is the spirit of God. Praise God. And then he says, why did we receive the spirit? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. So the reason we receive the Spirit of God is so that we will know the things that God has given to us freely. So it takes the Spirit of God to know what God has given. So if you don't have the Spirit of God, you cannot tell what God has given. I hope you're getting this now. So that we may know the things 
that have been given that are freely i want you to take note of that word it is what freely now when he says freely it, it brings to an understanding that these things could have been given already praise god yeah you know i say could have been given or there's a reason i said that i'm talking through how your mind should have be analyzing these things so he says that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. Then next verse says, which things also we speak. So there are things that have been freely given to us of God that it will take the Holy Spirit to make us know those things. Now, when we begin to know those things, what do we do? We begin to speak them. Praise God. He said, which things also we speak, not in the words words which man's wisdom teaches teach it but which the holy ghost teach it comparing spiritual things with spiritual wow 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 he needs to understand that he says mm, mm, mm. these things that god has freely given to us he wants us to know them and because he wants us to know them he gave us his spirit so now the Spirit has been given to us. For what reason? So that we will know those things that have been freely given to us. And then he says, these things, when you know them, you will begin to speak them. But hey, how do you speak them? Do you speak them any No. He says, we speak these things not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Let me read this from the message translation the message translation thank you holy spirit the same with god except that okay let me just in the message translation. let me start from verse 10. now watch this it says the spirit not content to feel fleets around on the surface dives into the depth of god now king james says um but God has revealed them to us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, even the deep things of God. The message said, the Spirit, not content with fleet around on the surface, dives into the depths of God and brings out what God planned all along. Whoever knows what you are thinking and planning except you yourself. The same with God, except that he not only knows what he's thinking, but he lets us in on it. Now, let's look at the next one. It says, God offers a full report on the gifts of life and salvation that he is giving us. We don't have to rely on the world's guesses and opinion. Now, this is verse, verse 13 now. Verse 12, sorry. We don't have to rely on the world guesses and opinion, meaning no, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit of God. We didn't learn this. This is verse, verse 13 now. We didn't learn this by reading books or going to school. We learned it from God who taught us person to person through Jesus. And we are passing it on to you in the same first hand personal way see this is just summarize what i'm saying to you now it says here which things we speak so we are teaching we are talking about these things not in the words which man's wisdom teaches but which the holy ghost has personally taught us i i used to say this many years ago and i still i still stand by it a good pastor it's not the one who bamboozles you with things he has read about. A good pastor is one who's had personal encounter and he is teaching you from the place of his experience with the Lord. Now, sometimes you hear people say, it's not good to preach from experience. No, what experience are we talking about? We're not talking about, you know, I've, been, I've suffered in life. And no, 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 that's what we are talking about your experience with God. Now, that's what I want to hear from you. Don't come tell me the Bible said, because we all read the Bible, praise. We know what's in the Bible. Hey, we want something better. How is this working in you? How is this working for you? I want to hear your story. I want to hear your testimony. That's what a preacher is. 
So a preacher who doesn't have a personal encounter, personal learning from the Holy Spirit, doesn't really have a message. If all I do is go read books and come display what I've read to you, I don't have a message. Praise God. Our time is up for today. Now listen, we, we, we are going to exhaust this. I'm trying to lay the foundation. So you see, what I'm about to share with you is not something we read or I read from books or, you know, learned from any school. Are things that the Holy Spirit taught me on spiritual, financial intelligence. Praise God. So, so you understand how to walk in it. Praise God. I pray that this week will be a blessing to you. And as the Lord begins to unveil his truth you will understand how to walk clearly in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.